This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Yeah, this is how I fight my battles. Ooh. And this is how I fight my It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. That's a perspective shift. That song is about, you know, I know the adversity around me and what I'm struggling with, but I know that you're with me. So I don't have to fear all of that. Perspective shift is huge. I remember when the, a major perspective shift came in my life. I was about 20 years old and I had screwed something up. I messed something up, practicing something with a team. And I remember I did like I always did when I messed something up. I just said, idiot, under my breath, talking to myself, kind of this negative self-condemnation. But my friend observed it and called it out. I'd never paid attention to it before. I'd always done it. And he goes, do you realize you do that a lot? Like, I don't even think Jesus would talk to you that way. So why do you talk to yourself that way? And it opened my eyes just by him making me aware of it. It began this new mentality shift and awareness I had never realized how I talked to myself, what I thought about myself. Have you ever thought about that? Our words have power and it forms and shapes identities. Not only the words we speak to others, especially a parent to a child or a, a boss or supervisor to an employee, but our words have power, our coach to a, an athlete. Our words to ourselves have power. And then recently I read this, a writer was talking about in Genesis chapter three, when Satan in the form of a serpent comes to Eve, the writer said that Satan didn't bring death to Eve by biting her and releasing poisonous venom into her veins or by wrapping and coiling her up and choking the life out of her. Satan talked Eve to death. Our words have power. Have you ever thought about what you think about and how you talk to yourself? I've had to pay attention to this for years now, and it has changed things for me. And the writer in Psalm 19, verse 14 says, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words have power for others and they have power for you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, would you continue this work you're doing in me and would you do this work in all of us that we, you would make us aware of how we think and what we're saying to ourselves. And may the meditations of our heart be pleasing to you, life-giving from you to us and for others. In the power of Jesus' name, I ask you to shift the way we think. Amen.